the LRA conflict in northern Uganda between the mid-1980s up to 2005 left a trail of destruction. The government introduced interventions like the Peace Recovery and Development Plan, PRDP 1 and 2, to help the region rebuild. But calls for a national transitional justice policy to deal comprehensively with post-conflict situations have been rife. At a consultative meeting to discuss the final draft of the policy, the Speaker, Rebecca Kadaga, tasked government to address the plight of children born in captivity. They can interest in those, those girls and their children because they are there. If something doesn't want them, what do they do? They go to the forty to the state or what? The advisor on transitional justice at the Justice Law and Order Secretariat, Margaret Ajok, says the policy, if passed, provides for various interventions for people affected by conflict. They are saying that uh, we should have an accountable amnesty, an amnesty which allows people to seek for forgiveness from persons who think that they have violated them. So that if you seek for forgiveness and then you're later on given an amnesty certificate and the victims have forgiven you, it's easier for you to reintegrate back into the community. A joke also urged the government to do more to reconcile communities affected by conflict. Paying someone one or ten million shillings won't bring back the, the dead. We won't bring back the child they lost or the husband they lost. But acknowledging and saying that we are sorry that something like this happened. Uh, performing a barrier for that person will relieve that person, will be justice. The policy has been in draft for the last 10 years among members of parliament and support for it to be adopted appears to have reached a critical stage. Let us face the truth and then we say we are very sorry for what happened and let us move on. So I, I believe this is the principle of the policy. If all the truth can be told out, if at all people who are willing, and then we forgive each other and start afresh. But as long as we still keep on hovering all those, this tribe is the other one, this one is the other, we will never move as a country. The policy is derived from the Juba peace process and is anchored in one of the vision attributes of the National Development Plan, a peaceful and stable Uganda. Walter Mwesije, NTV.